Okay, and as we have done a video of a D16Z6 PO8 ported intake manifold, even a P30, B16, and also a Type R that's gone good, and even an H22 that's from a race version, a street version, and actually a full race version, different aspects like this. And all of this would be in the description below, so don't you worry about that. But now it's time to do a VDI P2K or P2J intake manifold. And we're also going to show you how to easily convert the automatic intake manifold into a manual without spending a little more than you should. And we're going to cut open the plenum and show you guys and we will discuss all the needed things to make it more efficient and make more power. <laughs> Alright, here it is. As the manifold arrived, we had to unwrap it from the cling wrap and here it is. Yes, the VTI intake manifold. Look at the plenum. It's kind of big or large, you know. Alright, so now we had to cut it and here it is. Look at this. There you go. You can actually see the plenum is quite large and you can hear here you can see runner one and four is actually longer than two and three but as you notice what honda did was two and three is actually a little bit higher than one and four to actually try to equate the rudder length All right oh sorry sorry okay now let me show you see now we're gonna do the runner entry from the throttle to transition well and here you can see from the back side we're gonna start working on this we're showing you so that you can see the after we're finished porting it all right we're gonna get the entry is really good to gain efficiency by shaping it like a velocity stack all right here we actually have another intake manifold with a iacv available but we decided to show this so we can show you guys a little bit of details so to make the video a bit more fun it goes through and through here to the plenum for the vacuum and then the other one goes in halfway and then it turns into the throttle this way the iacv does its job really well all right here now it's all ready to be ported you can see the plenum is quite big so for turbo application, this might be good. Of course, after porting so that this way, all the runners are efficient. Now let's show you this before we start working on it. Here, onto the, on the flange side, we're gonna port this until, maybe until half, way, half inch before the head. This way we can port match it to the cylinder head and the owner since he's going to change the intake manifold, he decided to send his cylinder head to us. This way we can port, it, port match it really well. That's an excellent, excellent move. All right, so now let's go to the porting bench. Let's go. Okay, now here we start off with a carbide because we can go with the sanding roll, but it's going to take forever. So we're going to go with a carbide. Let's speed it up. All right. Now we go with a carbide and if you guys have seen the other videos on intake manifold porting, flaring the entry helps speed up the airspeed or you know the runner airspeed. This way it generates more torque and potential power, especially when you have big cams. So this helps, all right? And then here we try to transition the runner number four and into the throttle or to the transition from throttle into the plenum and into the runner number four. All right, now let's rinse this with water and head back to the workbench to show you guys. Let's go. Now, would you look at that? You can see here, this is just a carbide finish. And sometimes we go back and forth with the carbide and then the sanding roll to necessarily get the shape that we want. But there's sometimes that it goes along really good like this. 
Look at that. It's still unfinished. And yes, you guessed it. Let's go back to the porting bench for the setting rule. All right. All right. Here we go with the 80 grit. All right. Before we go to the 120 grit. Let's get smooth quick. Okay. We got to speed this up with the time lapse. All right. There you go. And we sprayed it with our alcohol and joy dishwashing soap mix for lubrication. As you can see, it's slowly getting to the phase or shape that we like right but that is starting to look really really good and we're flaring it even even more and even further there all right see and now we go back to rinsing it with water and let's go back to the working bench let's go all right now here look it's gotten really good right and the shape is getting there okay let's put it on the stand here okay there you can see the transition from the throttle into the plenum, especially to the runner number four. It's gotten good, a lot better than before. This way, number four doesn't tend to run out or flow less air. All right. There. You can see it's still unfinished because the final shaping is actually there, but the finishing touch is still something that we got to finish or you know get to right you can see here it's all flared up and let me show you close look at that it's smoothly flared not really knife edged but flared because they're next to each other there's a sort of edge yeah that's inevitable all right yep Okay, now let's, let me show you some pictures or some snaps before we go back to the porting bench for the finishing touches. All right, let's go. And here you can see the transition from the entry into the runners are really good, especially the side on the throttle near the runner number four, right? And it's still unfinished because we still got to flare it up a little more. So later we're going to get to that. So... You can see the angle here, it's gotten really good, right? So this, we all know, is going to flow very efficiently to create more torque, which makes more power. So now let's turn this into a manual intake manifold by making sure the IECV works. And of course, do the certain finish and show you guys. So let's go. And as mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to show you how to turn an automatic intake manifold into a manual like a factory. Here you go. You drill a hole here for the IECV from the throttle side. And then here it goes through and through. And then this one, it goes halfway and then turns into the throttle. And here we tap this. All right. So now let me show you guys. We, we did it. All right. Here. Look. You can see there, it's already through and through, right? So, hey, it's good for the IACV. Yeah, now it's going to be a manual. All right, let's put the phone on the stand. All right. Okay, now here. Okay. You can see here it's through and through. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. we we'll show you now. Here. You can see. It, it goes through and through to the plan. Let me show you closer. We're going to tap this one for the bolt because this one already has. All right. Let me show you closer. See, it's through and through. Look. Yep. And this one goes, we go in halfway and then we turn it and then we turn towards the throttle because the IECV port has to breathe through the, th the throttle here you can see it's that simple and I know some would say you need a big, bigger hole and whatnot but when you think about it even vacuum li lines if you can increase the size you weaken the signal so some of you guys are opting for a bigger hole IECV it's not necessarily better one, so it's got to be the tune. Okay, so now let me show you some snaps. Here's the before, and then the after, right? So we got it good now, and you can see from the throttle side, and now here, so we got it good for the IECV port on the throttle. Here, and of course, we got to tap that lone bolt, so it's all ready, 
So for those automatics that are converting it to manual, like I did with my ESI EG, you can save your money by not buying an extra manifold. You can just do this to your manifold and you're already manual, right? I gotta give props to Kanzai Performance. They're the shop. They're a shop that's been around since 2003. And I get some parts from them, especially this manifold. And you know, you gotta give props to where it's due, right? So thanks, Mike. And now, okay, after doing the finishing touches, let me show you the finished contours and shapes of the Ethnic manifold before we get it welded. And here we go. Now, would you look at that? You can see, I mean, you can honestly say that's a velocity stack entry, especially runner number one, right? It looks really, really good. So we know this is going to perform really, really well and quite efficient, you know? Here, you can see the other side weight. Let me get the phone into the holder first. All right, here. And you can show you, look at that, right? Now we all know this is gonna be flowing more efficiently. And here in the up, upside down, yes sir. You can see the transition from the throttle into the runner number four is really good. And everything here, all right. Yep, that's a velocity stack entry indeed. Look at that. This is to help the air enter each runner. So whenever the piston whichever piston is operating uh, in the induction stroke it feeds it really well or better than stock and here you can see the last half inch before the head flange we didn't touch it because the head hasn't arrived yet so as soon as it gets here we can port match this perfectly with a calculated step to minimize reversion let's look at it close you can see that it's half inch before the head flange will be touched once we get the cylinder head and we match this with our own made intake gasket this way is accurate and really good we can actually give a calculated step to minimize reversion this way it leads to a more efficient operation for the engine which of course leads to more power now let me show you some snapshots of it here you can see it's waiting port matching perfectly, right? Yeah, and look at this. The finish is good, even on this side and here, good. And here you can see, you can actually see a velocity stack right here, look, right? So now all this needs is a finished welding shut the plenum. And of course, as soon as the cylinder head arrives, we're going to port match this to the specific head. This way it's partnered to the head correctly, right? We're going to weld it. It's going to be good. And of course, all the videos that we mentioned earlier before the intro will have the links on the description below. So you guys can watch all of that to gain more information and understanding into making Making more power on your engines and of course at the end of this video on the end screen you can click on the PO8 manifold porting.